Beta blockers actually are very commonly used in people with diabetes. Why is that? Well, beta blockers are used because many of the people with diabetes have heart disease. So beta blockers actually have a, what we call a compelling indication. And what that means is that there's a very special reason for us to actually use these different medications in people that have heart disease and diabetes. So if you've had a bypass, if you've had a heart attack, uh, almost all, or you have heart failure even, almost all of you will be on a beta blocker. And what does that mean? Well, we have receptors in our body that actually are stimulated by adrenaline. And what these drugs actually do is block some of the effects of that adrenaline on our heart and other places in the body. Now, why is that so good for the heart? Well, it helps to slow down the heart. It helps the heart use less oxygen. Um, and by doing all these things, it's going to help your heart function better. So after a heart attack, after a bypass surgery, most likely, um, these drugs are going to be started. How would you know if you were on one of these medications? They actually end in LOL. So atenolol, metoprolol, they're always going to end in LOL. So it's not laugh out loud, it's actually a tenolol or metoprolol, it's how they end. And so how would you feel if you were on one of these? Most people don't have too many side effects, but the most common side effect again is going to be the dizzy woozy effect that you may have from a blood pressure medicine when you start it. So these do slow down the heart and you could notice that your pulse goes down. As long as it doesn't go too low, there's really no problems. Just talk to your healthcare professional about where your pulse should be.